Good morning, everyone. Welcome to the Farm and Pastor's Wife. I'm so glad you're here. I'm trying a different camera angle. It's going to be a little more of a hassle, and I don't know if you can hear me. So we're just going to try this out for the first part of this video, and if I think it worked well, then we'll keep going. Hopefully you can hear me. I'm kind of yelling a little bit. But we're just going to try this angle and see how it works. Because um, I get a lot of people saying they want to see me and the food. And it is, it's it's kind of rough me turning the camera down and up and everything. So we're just trying something new. Okay, today we're making, happy 4th of July, y'all. Happy 4th of July. I know you probably have a lot of festivities. And I'm not sure if you're going to get to see, the, if, if you will watch this on July 4th. But if not... And to all my non-American friends, just happy Monday. It is Monday here. It is 4th of July. And for the Americans, happy 4th of July. Okay. So, I have made... I'm going to make two recipes on two separate videos today. Um, the other one you'll see on Tuesday. But I'm making them for a festivity we're going to tonight. I have made both of these recipes multiple times here on this channel. But you know what? If I'm making it multiple times, that means it is a staple. And if you've put off trying either one of them, don't put it off anymore because they are delicious. All right, let's go over. I'm making an Italian cream cake. So let me just say welcome. If you haven't subscribed, I would love for you to do so. I'm going to hit the, inter the interview. <laughs> the introduction now and that's a great time to hit subscribe and hit that bell notification so you don't miss anything especially my crazy bloopers all right so intro hit subscribe we'll be right back hey darling can i tell you what's been on my mind sick and tired of the nine to five in the city light hey darling we could get out of town See the beautiful world around Wanna see it now Pack our bags and get in that car Leave a little note and we'll drive real far Let's get out, we can leave this city Let's drive to the open air Okay, y'all, so let's go through the ingredients you're going to need to make this Italian cream cake. It is so good. Let me just tell you where I got this recipe. I did get this from Miss Kay Robertson's cookbook, and it's the bomb. It is so good, and it's Isaac. Isaac doesn't usually like cake, but this is his favorite cake. So you're going to need a stick of room temperature butter, and I'm just giving you the cake recipe now. We'll do the frosting later. So a stick of softened butter, a half a cup of Crisco, two cups of sugar, two cups of all-purpose flour with a teaspoon of baking soda, a cup of coconut, a cup of buttermilk, and a cup of toasted pecans, and vanilla, and five eggs that we're going to separate. We'll put the yolks in one place and the whites in another, and we're going to use both. So, all right, let's get my cake stand mixer over here, and I'm going to go in first with the room temperature butter, softened butter. I'm going to go in with that. We're going to go in with the half a cup of Crisco. Now, let me just say, Y'all grab you a piece of paper and write this recipe down. I know it's sometimes difficult to find the description box, especially if you're watching this on your television. There's really no way to um, find the description box. You have to go to a computer or mobile. Um, so if you like to write my recipes down or like to see them and you use the TV, be sure to get you a pen and paper as we go. So that's one stick of room temperature butter and a half a cup of room temperature Crisco. And we're gonna go in with our two cups 
of sugar. Okay guys, I'm gonna put this on the stand mixer, beat it up, and I'll bring you right back. Okay, so now I'm going to separate my eggs one at a time and beat the yolk into the batter and put the white over here. And I'm going to beat these up one at a time and mix them in. Let me do one more for you. I turned that off so you could hear. Now, I happen to have another stand mixer bowl. If you don't have another stand mixer bowl, it's fine. Um, just put, it in a, put your whites in a separate bowl and get out your hand mixer for those. We are going to beat these um, whites up into a fluffy type of meringue. All right. We'll be back in just a little bit. I'm going to do this to all five eggs. We'll be right back. Okay, guys, I hope I said baking soda earlier, not baking powder. This is baking soda, and it's going in here with our all-purpose flour or two cups of all-purpose flour and I'm just going to give it a quick little whisk all right and we're going to put a little bit of this in and turn our mixer on slowly so as not to have a flour puff everywhere and then we're going to add to it a little bit of our buttermilk. We alternate between the dry and the wet. Nope, there went my flour puff. <laughs> and I usually do it in third, third of the flour, third of the milk, third of the flour, third, you know, that type thing. There went my flower puff again. All right. Let's get whatever this is out here on the edge. And we're going to slowly go in with the rest of our buttermilk. I love a cake that calls for buttermilk. Oh, my goodness. I think that is the best cake ever. I'm going to grab a spatula just... You know, because buttermilk's thick, and you want to get every bit of that goodness. Plus, I'm going to wipe down the sides of the cake mixture. We're going to cut that off, lift it up, and give a good scrape down of the sides. Making sure we have everything incorporated. It's a nice, beautiful, fluffy batter. I don't know if you guys can see that, but it is absolutely gorgeous. All right, so now what I'm going to add, well, I'm going to knock off this flour right here. You want to be sure you get all of that incorporated. You don't want to miss any of this batter. It's so good. Okay. So to this, I'm going to add in my cup of coconut. And by all means, if you're not a coconut fan, you can leave it out, but this is a traditional Italian cream cake. I'm going to put in a cup of chopped pecans, that coarsely chopped pecans that I toasted up this morning. I'm going to go ahead and turn that on, get that incorporated in along with a um, teaspoon or more. You know me and my vanilla. I love it so much. All right. All right, guys. I'm going to get my pans ready, and we're going to divvy this up. I'm not done. We still have more to add. I'm going to remove this from here and add the um, egg whites over here in their pan, and beat them up. So I'll bring you right back. 
Okay guys, I've added on my whisk attachment. This is the egg whites. I am so thankful one of my sweet viewers sent me a separate bowl. I did not have a separate bowl for my stand mixer until one of my sweet viewers sent me one. So I totally understand what it's like not to have one. Just put it in a mixing bowl and use your hand mixer with the, their, the whisk attachment on that. Works just great, but this is super nice that I have a separate bowl. Love it. Okay, I'm just going to turn these on slowly and gradually increase the speed, and we're just going to whip these up to a stiff peaks. Okay guys, now we're not gonna whip this up to a actual meringue. We just wanna give it some fluffiness. All right, gonna meet you back over here. Okay everyone, so I have my egg whites here and we have our cake batter here. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna move this little spatula because it won't handle that butter. Okay, we're gonna take our egg whites and put them right over here into our batter. Being sure to get all of them. All right, and we are just going to fold them in to our batter. And fold as you just lift and turn, lift and turn, and then you have, you know, you need to move around a little bit, but just lift and push down, lift and push down, moving that egg white. This is just going to give, oh my goodness, it's going to give this cake batter such an airiness and a fluffiness. Oh my goodness. Oh, oh, <laughs> and I can't eat it. Y'all, I'm on my diet still. And I've put myself on a strict 30 day no cheat challenge. It's like my own personal challenge. It's nothing that's been done. It's my own personal challenge. Y'all, the camera's crooked. <laughs> I'm sorry. But anyway, um, so I can't have any of this. That does not make me happy. <laughs> All right. Okay, I'm gonna prepare my pans and we're gonna pour them up. I'm gonna individually, I'm gonna take a scoop, an equal scoop in each three pans. This is a three layer cake. And I'll bring you back in just a second. Okay, those of you who have been with my channel know that I spray my pans with Baker's Joy or Baker's Spray, not sponsored in any way, shape, or form. This is just a, a spray that has the flour already in it. Um, but if you're uncomfortable with this, by all means, use the Crisco and dust it with flour, you know, the good old-fashioned way. All right, so I've just got a scoop here, and I'm going to evenly, try to evenly, scoop out even amounts of mixture. I'm starting with one cup per pan. Bryant specifically requested this cake to take to the get together we're going to. Okay, so now I'm gonna to move to half a cup in each pan. And I'm not being exact, as you can see on the measurements. I'm just scooping a little bit at a time. Y'all be ready. The door's opening and people are coming in. Hey, hey, hey. Guess who's here? All right, guys. I'm going to um, spread this out and give them a tap. 
<laughs> make sure any air bubbles are out and we'll get this in the oven. So we'll be right back. Okay, y'all, so my three cake pans here are going in a 350 degree oven for about 25 to 30 minutes. We'll get them out, let them cool, and then we'll be right back to make the frosting, which is the best part. Okay, guys, the cakes are out of the oven and they're over there cooling. They look perfect and beautiful. So we'll be back shortly once they've cooled to throw together the icing. Okay, everybody, it's time to make the frosting. Yes, I've moved the camera back over here. I wanted to see in the same video kind of the quality of the sound, the picture, everything. So you're back over here and we will decide after this if it's worth it leaving it over there because I'm going to have to do a lot of editing and y'all know I like do a video and upload it that night so there's not a lot of editing time and when, there, when I have to do a lot the videos are late getting up. So we'll see. We're just playing around today. Okay, let's get started on the frosting. The first thing I'm going to do is I have an 8 ounce block of cream cheese and a soft, both of them are at room temperature, a stick of butter and the cream cheese. I'm going to kind of whip these up together and get those kind of creamed, get them a head start before I add the powdered sugar in. And we'll be adding four cups of powdered sugar to this icing if I can get the cream cheese open. All right, let me turn you guys downward. See, this is this is what I have to do when y'all are up here. But, it works. All right, cream cheese going in. I need to get that off. Okay, now the stick of butter. Going in. And I don't let any of that excess go to waste. <clears throat> All right, here we go. All right, that was easy because they were at such a good room temperature. All right. I'm going to start adding in a little bit of powdered sugar at a time. This is four cups going in. And turn your beater mixer on slow. And then just slowly turn it up. Get this mixed in and then you can add some more. I just let it get kind of, not a liquid state, but let it come back to where it looks like the butter and cream cheese. Okay, and we're going to turn on slow again. Uh, when I use my hand mixer, I had somebody tell me one time, turn it on slow. You're turning it on too fast. That's what causes it to puff up. But it is the slowest that I have. Um... I always turn my mixer on slow to, or try to sometimes, but um, yeah, it was on it was on a slow pace. It was just my hand mixer is so fast, even on its slow setting. All right, and I'm gonna wait to the end to scrape the sides. This cake is so good. Y'all are going to absolutely love this cake. All right, let's pour the last little bit in here. All right. Go slow again. I'm gonna grab a spatula to scrape down the sides.
And I'm gonna slowly drizzle in some vanilla. I'm gonna scrape down just to be sure I've got all everything incorporated, especially that vanilla. And another whisk. All right, we're gonna let it whip just for a little bit and then we'll bring you back and I'll have the cake over here ready to ice. All right, guys, I have a cake carrier here. The lid is over there. Um, but to the cake carrier, I'm gonna put one of the cardboard rounds. My cardboard round was a little bit too big, so I just took some scissors and trimmed it out. So. There we go. All right, now let's lift this up. And I'm gonna take just a little small dollop of icing and put right here in the center. I should have popped that dot out, but that's okay. All right. And to that dollop, I'm gonna leave the center portion visible but I'm gonna kinda, this is just gonna help me be neat. <laughs> All right. I'm gonna grab the first layer. Isn't that a beautiful cake? It is so moist, so delicious. Let me get my So we're going to take a dollop of icing and we're just going to spread that around this top layer. And listen, if you have to make more icing, it's okay. So I'd rather you have to make more than to be stingy with it, like to have a sad middle layer. <laughs> Does that make sense? All right. Getting it all the way to the edge. It's okay if it spills over because you're going to ice the side anyway. I'm going to put just a little bit more out here. All right. There you go. Like I said, it's okay if it spills over the edge because you want it, you're gonna get it there anyway. So, all right, let's grab a second layer. And here's where I take just a minute to be sure I'm not leaning. I'm not being the leaning tower of Pisa. So I turn it around just to be sure. Now you can cut the tops off. Like these are the actual the bottom of my cakes. I usually turn them bottom side up. That may not be how most people do it. That's just the way I tend to do it. Um, but if you are using the top, you can definitely cut the top off if you need to. I don't like doing that. It just makes such a mess to me. And I'm not proficient in doing that. So I turn them upside down and not, don't worry about cutting anything off. The only time I cut something off if, it's, if it is really, really leaning bad. I mean, and then by the time I know it's leaning, it's really too late to cut anything off. So I just try to straighten it with icing. <laughs> Right, that was a good layer. That did really good. Got my groove going now. Let's get just a little bit more. All 
right. Very good. Okie dokie, let's get the third and final layer. All right. All right, guys, well, here she is. She is finally iced. Now, I am not a cake decorator by any means. I know nothing. I need to take some classes, but I never have. But this is what I normally do on just an iced cake. I'm gonna show you. I just take a knife and give it some peaks, just some pretty little peaks all over, sides, tops, bottom. I mean, well, you can't do the bottom, but you know what I mean. Just lots of little peaks all over. And you just quickly tap your knife on it and pull it out. And it leaves these pretty little peaks. And they are intended peaks. <laughs> they're not messed up peaks, they're intended peaks. Right, beautiful. So if you're not a cake decorator, like I'm not, there's you an idea to make a cake pretty, but not really having any talent. <laughs> okay, now, um, and that's just one way to do it, but I'm gonna actually top mine with some toasted, finely chopped, pecans and I kind of want to put them on the edge but I don't know we'll see I'm definitely going to put a lot on the top I'm going to throw them on the side. <laughs> Just going to toss them. Because I don't want all my little peaks to go away. Yes, I'm going to have to sweep. <laughs> Be done. We're going to call it done. All right, so now we're just going to take our wax paper and just slide it out. And then this keeps the bottom of your cake plate nice, neat, and clean. All right. There she is. She's going in the refrigerator to set up 
It's going to taste so good. I know Bryant will cut into it before we head out, so you will get a taste test. I just know him well enough because we're going to friends. It's not like it's a fancy thing, and we're all going to cut into it there anyway, so I'm sure he's going to taste this before we head out. So, but I'm going to stick it in the refrigerator in the meantime, but isn't she pretty? Look at that here. Well, I'm missing some pecans. I'll doctor that up. But anyway, there it is. She's going in the refrigerator to um, let the icing set up. Oh, so good. Okay, y'all. We'll be back in a little bit. Okay, y'all. Brian just came in, so I pulled it right back out of the refrigerator, and we're going to get it cut a slice. I'm going to let y'all watch me cut it. That's that's dangerous. Because you know everything when somebody's watching doesn't cut right. And it doesn't turn out right either. Look at that beautiful cake. Mm -hmm. I'm going to slowly and carefully because it hasn't been in the refrigerator but just a few seconds. Oh well, no, we can cut that in half. No. That's, too, that's too big a slice, Mom. Well, honey, you're going to have to eat it. Oh, jeez Louise. Looky there, y'all. Look how moist that looks. All right. Did you take a picture of it? I'm going to. I didn't oh. take a picture of the whole cake. Oh, no. You need to take a picture of it. Okay. Hang on. We're going to take some pictures. I'll be right back. All right. He's coming around. And yes, we've moved the camera yet again. Yes. <clears throat> so we got to talk loud so you can hear me. Oh, look. I'm not the camera. I told you. That's the only thing I hate about the camera being over And now here. we're going to get these lights. Oh, no. Oh, no. But, hey, this cake is delicious. This is one of my favorites that she makes right here. Did you try any? No. Okay. No. I didn't even lick my finger. Look, I got to get close. I got to see this right here. Look how delicious that cake <laughs> right there looks. Moist and good. Perfection right there. Perfection. Okay. I love hearing that. I like this cake because it's got nuts. It's got coconut, right? And the batter is so fluffy. I fluffy. wish y'all could see how fluffy the batter is. And it's that egg white, beating that egg white and folding it in that makes it so fluffy. You want to tell them what you're drinking? You got grease on your hand. Do I? Oh, yes, I do. Um... <laughs> I don't want to tell them what I'm drinking because I'm ashamed to tell them what I'm drinking. Tell them what I'm drinking. Well, the cup is one of those temperature changing cups. Oh, you can't see. It's white. And what do you normally eat with sweets? Milk. But it's not white milk. Hang on. You don't eat it with sweets. You drink it. You drink it, it with sweets. Mm -hmm. See, there's one of my bloopers. Mm -hmm. But um, it's, it's not milk. She was out of milk. And so I asked her, I said, how'd you and make... it's not buttermilk. I said, how'd you make this cake without milk? She said, it calls for buttermilk. So guess what I'm drinking? It's a mixture. Almond milk. Mixed with... Half and half. <laughs> it, He's it, trying his best to make milk. <laughs> it, it'll do in a rush. You need to go out to the pasture and see one of the cows. But anyway, hey, you gotta try this cake, guys. It's delicious. Take it to any... Any gathering or, or get together you want to take to, it's really good. All right. There you go, Mom. There you have it. His favorite, one of his favorite cakes. I wouldn't say it's his favorite. I bet my pound cake's your favorite. Yes. My pound cake's my favorite too. And this one is a close to that butter pecan cake. Oh yeah, you like the butter pecan cake. Yeah. All right, guys. Well, here you have it, Italian cream cake. I hope you enjoyed. It. Please make it. It's it's worth the extra step of beating that egg white, but it's not that hard. Um, it just calls for that extra step and it's worth it. So easy. I hope you enjoy. Remember, the grease is hot enough. You can fry anything. Bye, y'all.